At Sharp Mary Birch Hospital today announced the birth of the world's smallest surviving baby. She was born in December, weighing just eight ounces, and was sent home this month, weighing five pounds. News 8's Kelly Hesedal is live at Sharp Mary Birch to introduce us to little Saby. Kelly? Yeah, Barbara Lee and Carlo, these were little Sabie's diapers, and these were way too big for her. That's how tiny she was when she was born. Now, her parents asked to remain anonymous, but her mom did allow cameras to record her voice. They told me that I had um, preeclampsia. Uh, my blood pressure was very, very high, over 200, and they had to deliver her really quick. Baby Sabi was born in December at just 9 inches and 8.6 ounces, a micro preemie, about the same weight as an apple or a juice box. Her mom had major complications during her pregnancy, and doctors had to perform an emergency C-section at 23 weeks. A typical pregnancy lasts 40 weeks. They told my husband that he had about an hour with her and that she was going to pass away. But that hour turned into two hours, which turned into... A day, which turned to a week. Sabi was cared for a team of doctors and nurses at Sharp Mary Birch, including nurse Emma Wiest. All of us nurses could immediately see how strong she was, and we knew, we all knew she was going to survive. Her body so tiny, just finding equipment small enough for her was a challenge. A breathing tube had to be made for her. This is much, much longer than what hers was. We had to trim it down to her size, so about this long. Because her immune system wasn't fully developed, she ran the risk of infection. Dr. Paul Wozniak describes what it was like to feed her. For these small babies, you know, we start with just one ml of uh, breast milk. You know, that's so tiny, it's just a drop. And we gradually increase it and she has to tolerate it and grow, and she did. The team documented Sabie's progress. Seeing video of it today causes them to tear up. Emma says she'll never forget this. Mom holding for the first time and dad holding for the first time always gets us because it just, it washes away all of that stress that they've had for so long, and they just, everybody in the room just cries. Baby Sabie, a miracle, baby, and mom so grateful. I, I don't want to cry. <laughs> Look at all those signs. They made it. You know, I would come in, and then it's like, happy birthday, mom. It's just, I'm so grateful for them. And baby Sabi went home this month. Her parents are now going to celebrate that date every year as her graduation from the NICU.